A light plot is a complex drafting created by the lighting designer in order to communicate all of the information about the lighting design. This includes information like lighting placement, color, control, circuiting, and more. Without an understanding of the common practices used to create a lighting plot, it can be incredibly confusing for the beginner to look at it. The following video gives you the information needed to understand exactly how to read and interpret a light plot. Let's use this simple plot to find out a little bit more about how light plots are put together. A light plot is drafted in a plan view, which means you are looking down on the stage from a bird's eye view. The drafting illustrates positions of both the auditorium and the stage. In addition to the theater's architecture, there are also specific lines used for measurement on the stage. The first of these is called the proscenium line, an imaginary line that runs from one side of the stage proscenium to the other. This imaginary line serves as a visual reminder to divide the audience from the stage. In addition to the proscenium line, all draftings will include the center line, a vertical line which divides the stage down the center. By including these two lines, all light plots have a specific point from which to measure, either upstage to downstage or stage right to stage left. All light plots include a depiction of lighting positions. Those above the stage are referred to as electrics, whereas those in the house have specific names depending on their position. For example, this light plot includes three hanging positions, first electric, second electric, and front of house one. Notice that the numbering system for lighting positions begins at the proscenium and works outward. The next step in creating a light plot is to insert focus points, or locations on the stage in which you want light. In this example light plot, there are five focus points labeled A through E. Notice that the labeling of the focus points goes from right to left and not left to right. This is because the orientation of the focus points is based off of the stage direction's perspective, not the audience. Each one of these focus points is the center of a pool of light that overlaps with one another to create an even wash of lighting on the stage. The next step in creating a light plot is to include symbols that represent the placement of the lighting instruments themselves. After inserting these symbols, the next step is to include all of the pertinent information for each lighting fixture, such as instrument number, color, dimmer and channel assignment, focus, and more. You'll notice that each individual lighting position includes a numbering of instruments going from stage left to stage right. This system allows electricians to identify each individual instrument and their unique attributes. Even looking at a simple light plot like this, you can notice that there's a lot of information to take in. Without having a specific frame of reference for understanding what all of those symbols and numbers mean, it could be difficult to interpret a light plot. That's where the lighting key comes in. The lighting key is a small chart that includes all of the necessary information for interpreting the symbols on a light plot. It should include an instrument key with a symbol for each type of lighting instrument included in the plot, as well as a legend that explains what all those little numbers and symbols mean associated with the lighting instruments. There's no doubt that there's a lot of information presented in the lighting plot, but once you have a good understanding of the process that goes into creating one, reading one's a lot easier. 